Hey guys, Cuban guy here. Formerly Chevy Tech 350. I changed my channel number, but it's the same me. Got a little product review here I want to do. I got a uh, SOE Sun Visor cover uh, by Milspec Monkey. I got it off their website. Pretty good cover. I've seen these before. I decided to get one. It came in. Uh, recently and I went ahead and I set it up here I just want to give you a little product review on this um, first off I like it it's got good durable construction all the uh, elastic ties are good sturdy the stitching is good it's got molly everywhere on the other side we'll get to that in a minute has uh, velcro hook and loop and uh, pockets and everything uh, first off I added this pouch it's a magazine pouch that I had which I use for a flashlight. I got an Ozark Trail, look, 85 lumens flashlight. Uh, pretty good flashlight, fairly inexpensive. Extension mirror and magnet here. This is a little assorted screwdriver. Uh, it's a promotional thing that I got from a company I used to work at, marketing promotions. It's got a flat and Phillips. Um, Torx, squared, Allen. It's got a few different bits. It's uh, made for promotion, but you know it comes in really handy for smaller screws than that. Uh, got my Smith & Wesson serrated knife here. I keep that there. Oh, sorry, I mean, bring it this way. Alright, Smith & Wesson serrated knife. It uh, It's a glass breaker, seat belt cutter, tight pocket knife folding knife so that comes in very handy gets you out of a sticky situation where you have to cut your seat belt off in case maybe of a rollover or whatever hopefully it doesn't have to happen but always be prepared um, keep a pen right here and my stylus pen light good little sturdy light I've had that one for a long time used to keep that one in my toolbox when I was a tech um, couple of big lighters here uh, sharpie pen here that you never know what kind of service you're gonna have to write on and of course my Smith & Wesson tactical pen all right uh, pretty good setup here in the front what I did in the back is I have I had a Condor TNT pouch actually I still have it and they came with this map pouch what I did is on the back here it has hook and loop it's got a big square hook and loop uh, area which also has a pocket here in the back which you can add your little notepads um, yeah business cards uh, paperwork documents whatever you need uh, you got that on this side on the other side you have the same pouch only it's got a clear plastic uh, end on that the clear plastic cover as opposed to the hook and loop uh, see right there mill spec monkey I don't know if you can see it. it's got some glare on it but uh, yeah my wife suggested maybe a family picture there I think I'll go ahead and I'll do that it's a good idea so anyway what I did was I added the map pouch it it is velcro it is hook and loop so it is hook and loop so I just went ahead and stuck it on there and uh, what you got is you got your map in case you need it. you got both sides of it because uh, let's face it electronics aren't always going to work um, they will fail and in a uh, well when it hits the fan situation you always want to be prepared you always going to have a plan B uh, a couple of good friends of mine go by a, a saying, uh, two is one and one is none. So it's better to have multiple, you know, whatever it is you got. If you got a cutting instrument, keep an extra blade. I got another one here in the, uh, I keep another one in my pocket. I keep another one in my bag. Uh, lighters keep multiples, flashlights keep multiples, pens, writing instruments. So you got a GPS and you keep a physical map, you know, just like that. Um, 
basically that's it fairly inexpensive it came in right away mill spec monkey uh, website is uh, very customer service friendly uh, good price good quality I'm happy with it uh, if there's anything else guys I appreciate you watching my videos uh, please comment rate the video and uh, subscribe all right thanks again guys this is Cuban guy